learn how to do basic directories and files creation open read write to files with elixir inside your desired directory let's open up a new terminal and let's create a new elixir project by running this command Now let's run the test and let's open up our new project in our editor by running this command. With our new Elixir project in our editor, let's open up our test file and let's remove the auto generated test so we can write our own test. First, we need to set up our test with this data. We'll create this variable. First, we need the name of the file that we're going to create and the directory name also. And the content that we are going to write to that file that is going to be created. And this is what we are going to append uh, to the end of that file. Okay, now we just have to return that variable that we just created. Let's create our first test. So first let's check if it is successful when the file is created. Let's create this variable. This uh, should return OK if the file is created successfully. And then we are going to remove for testing purposes uh, that file so we can run the test over and over again. Now let's just check that our file returns OK. Let's save it. Now the second test, let's just check if the file exists, then we should have an error back. So uh, first let's create uh, a file. And now let's check by creating another file if we get an error. And then for testing purposes, so we can run the test over and over again, let's remove that file. And let's just save it and now let's open a, a terminal let's move that terminal to a window here let's close this one and let's run the test as you can see everything is red so our test is failing so now we have to make that test green let's open up our main project file Let's remove the auto generated hello function and let's add the following function. 
this function is going to create our file first let's do this statement if our statement passes then we are going to append to the file with this function otherwise we're just going to return an error but we have to check for two things here first we have to attempt to make the directory And the second one is that we have to write the content to a file. Okay, so our first function over here, this makes the directory path if it doesn't exist. If we return this, okay, Adam is successful. It takes just one argument, that is the path that we get from our file map over here. The second one is going to write content to a file path. And if the file doesn't exist, the file is going to uh, be created but that is just a file the directory needs to exist because if we try to uh, write to a file that into a directory that doesn't exist then we're gonna get an error this function just take two arguments the first one is the path and the second one is the content that we get from our file map here now let's make our append to file function it's going to take one argument that's going to be our file and the first thing that we're going to do is to open the file let's copy and paste this path this time it's going to be my file And we're gonna open our file in read and write mode. Then we pass it. And then it's gonna take a anonymous function. So the first thing that we do is to read the file. Then we're going to write to the file. save our file okay so apparently I forgot a comma over here let's just save it okay now it should be there so what's happening here is that uh, this function here this opens the file in reading and write and writing mode and uh, this takes three arguments the first one is the path uh, the second one is the modes it's going to be a, a list of the modes that you want. It can be just one mode. And the third one is a function. Now this function, this is going to read the content of the file. 
uh, we have to do that because if we don't then uh, it gets overridden by the by this right function over here uh, this is going to append to the content to the file and it just takes uh, two arguments the first one is the file and the second one is the content that we try to append and here um, this function takes also two arguments the first one is the file and the second one is, is going to be the, the content now let's go to our terminal and let's run the test again and this time everything should be green so our test is passing so uh, that is it that's a simple introduction to file manipulation with elixir all you need is the file and the input output modules Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. If you want to join the Elixir army and get more Elixir content, visit the website elixirprogrammer.com.